Today's video is very important in the sense that you will learn and understand the design of centrifugal pump. The design means finding out the basic dimension of impeller and blade angle. What I suggest before going through this video, please visit my previous video about the sizing of centrifugal pump where I have given or I have suggest I, I have uh, given the detail how the impeller speed and diameter are calculated. Design of uh, pump video is in continuation of uh, sizing of pump video. And so we will start the design based on the speed and diameter of impeller which were calculated during the sizing of so let's start the video about the design aspect as I said the design of centrifugal pump is to find out the detailed parts and angle of impeller so these are the input data required volumetric flow rate Q inlet pressure outlet pressure and density of the fluid Then, as I said, the best on the sizing of the centrifugal pump, we can know that the speed of impeller is suppose n, outer diameter of impeller is d2 is mm, and hydraulic efficiency is es constant. So other data which are selected considering the design criteria, the ratio of impeller hub or root to outer diameter, which is normally R is equal to D1H upon D2 is varies 0 0.3 to 0 0.5, which is constant. Number of blades is N, it can be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And impeller inlet blade height, you have to select suitable height, let's say H1. Gap between inlet blades, two inlet blades at a mean height position which is perpendicular to the relative velocity, let's say it is B1, which is mm, and uh, slip factor sigma. So these are the selected values for the design of centrifugal pump. So further calculation starts. Suppose we need a inlet actual flow rate Q in and outlet impeller outlet actual flow rate QD2 in meter q per second so divide q upon 3600 so these two value will be same hydraulic head hydraulic head is calculated based on inlet outlet pressure and density of the fluid so hydraulic head hs is equal to outlet pressure p2 minus inlet pressure p1 bracket close 10 to the power 5 upon density of the fluid so hydraulic head hs is equal to bracket start p2 minus p1 bracket close into 10 to the power 5 upon rd so hs is hydraulic head in joule per kg p1 p2 is pressure in bar gauge rd is density in kg per meter cube so now impair inlet diameter impeller inlet root diameter or hub diameter d1h is equal to r into d2 d2 we know r is non so we can calculate this impeller inlet tip diameter d1 is equal to once d1h is non hub diameter root diameter d1h plus 2 times h1 so impeller inlet tip diameter is also non using these two formulas so D1H is a root or hub diameter, H1 is impeller inlet blade height in millimeter, D1 is impeller inlet blade tip diameter, D2 is impeller outer, outer diameter in millimeter. Now impeller inlet design section, impeller inlet mean blade tip velocity that is U1 can be written pi pi bracket star d1h plus h bracket close n into 60 into 1000 so using this formula we can calculate 
inlet mean tip velocity and inlet mean impeller root velocity pi d1h into n upon 60 into 1000 similarly for impeller inlet tip velocity sorry at tip this is at root and this is for tip so pi d1 n upon 16 to 1000 and inlet mean relative velocity will be qn into 10 to the power 6 upon n into v1 into h1 so using this formula we can calculate v1 and once the v1 is known u1 is known so you can click calculate c1 or which is equal to ca1 is a square root of v1 square minus u1 square so using this we can calculate v1 u1 c1 in addition to this we have also calculated u1 root and u1 tip now to find out the blade angle inlet blade angle impeller blade inlet blade angle at mean that means this one b1 is if you see this triangle this angle is equal to this angle so tan theta will be u1 upon c a1 this is where it is written now same you can use this triangle formula for root angle so this angle is equal to this angle so tan theta will be u1 root upon c a1 similarly for the tip triangle tip velocity triangle this angle will become this larger angle so tan theta will be this u1 tip upon c a1 so using this formula we can calculate mean inlet blade angle blade angle at root and blade angle at tip inlet blade thickness can be calculated using this formula t1 into right gestalt pi into d1h plus h1 into cos beta 1 upon n minus b1 so i i will make separate video for this how this has been you know derived but for the time being it is considered using this formula you can calculate inlet blade thickness of impeller now let us consider the outlet velocity triangle this section simple outer velocity you can calculate because we know the d2 pi d2 n upon 16 to 1000 this will be equal to u2 impeller outer tip velocity in meter per second outer relative velocity is it is assume 50 percent of inlet relative velocity so since v1 is known we can calculate v2 using Euler's equation v2 u2 into cw2 minus u1 into cw1 is equal to hs upon es but for pump cw1 is zero due to axial flow so outlet whirl velocity or tangential velocity cw2 is equal to hs upon es into u2 so cw2 is calculated once cw2 is known outlet axial velocity ca2 this will be calculated how v2 square root of v2 square minus this which is equal to u2 minus cw2 that is why it is written a square root of v2 square minus u2 minus cw2 bracket close to a square then c2 can be calculated because ca1 ca2 is known and cw2 is known so outlet absolute velocity c2 is equal to square root of ca2 plus cw2 now the next step is to find out the outlet blade angle that is beta 2 so you have to use some first you have to assume suitable sleep factor sigma once it is known then you can calculate ideal outlet whirl velocity ideal means without sleep cw2 dash is equal to cw2 upon sigma and outlet blade angle once cw2 is known we can calculate u2 minus cw2 dash this means this divide by ca2 so tan theta tan beta 2 is equal to u2 minus cw2 dash bracket close upon ca2 so once cw2 is known you can calculate again the sleeve factor actual sleeve factor based on the weisner sleeve factor equation 
sigma is equal to 1 minus the square root of cos beta 2 bracket close n to the power 0 0.7 where n is number of blades so now select the sleeve factor based on the calculated value so once this is calculated you have to you know put the same value and recalculate so this is what it is written so calculate the sleeve factor based on the calculated value and recalculate the outer blade angle from a step 1 to 4 and also sleeve factor so stop when sleeve factor becomes without any variation that means there is no variation sleeve factor that means this is the final value so whatever then comes it is called ideal value then 10 theta or beta angle beta 2 angle will be the final value so once this is done we can calculate outlet relative velocity without slip there is a v2 dash that is this one is a square root of ca2 ca2 square plus this one that means u2 minus cw2 dash that means this one become this smaller portion so v2 dash is equal to square root of ca2 square plus bracket star u2 minus cw2 dash bracket close to a square out you can think uh, you can select outlet thickness of the blade t2 is equal to t1 let's say then gap between two outlet blade perpendicular to ideal relative velocity beta 2 is equal to brackets and pi into d2 into cos beta 2 upon n bracket close minus t2 so using this formula b2 is known once b2 is known outlet blade width blade width w d2 is equal to q d2 into 10 to the power 6 upon bracket start n into b2 into v2 dash and through which we can calculate w d2 that is outlet blade width so with this uh, we have uh, seen how the you know dimension and angles of impeller calculator so let us understand with an example so centrifugal pump handles water with flow rate of 1000 meter cube per hour and raises pressure from inlet pressure of 2.5 bar gauge to discharge pressure of 8 bar gauge design the impeller so input data is given flow 1000 inlet outlet pressure is also given density of fluid is also given density of fluid is considered 1000 being water so these are the data taken based on the sizing so speed of the impeller n is 1508 it is calculated based on the previous videos you can see where how the speed is calculated then outer diameter impeller d2 is 400 is again calculated and hydraulic efficiency is based on considered is 0.85 so other data selected is the ratio of impeller hub to outer diameter is taken 0.4 number of blade is taken 9 impeller inlet blade height h1 is 25 gap between two inlet blades at mean height position perpendicular the relative velocity b1 is 45 millimeter and sleep factor as a starting point is considered 0.80 so now you have to calculate inlet flow qn qd2 which is coming as 0.278 for in q in and q d2 both are same hydraulic head is also calculated p2 minus p1 to the power 10 to the power 5 open rd putting all this value it is coming 550 joule per kg now impeller inlet root diameter d1h is equal to r into d2 so putting d1h will be 160 and impeller inlet tip diameter d1 is equal to d1h plus 2h1 which is coming as 210 millimeter the impeller inlet blade tip velocity u1 can be calculated pi into d1h plus h1 into n upon 16 to 1000 putting all these values is coming u1 is equal to 15 meter per second inlet tip velocity at root pi d1h into n upon 16 to 1000 putting all this value it is coming 13 meter meter per second inlet tip velocity at tip pi d1 into n upon 16 to 1000 putting all this value is becoming 17 meter per second inlet mean relative velocity q v1 is equal to q1 into 10 to the power 6 upon n1 into b1 into h1 putting all this value v1 is coming as 27 meter per second inlet absolute velocity which is equal to inlet axial velocity c1 is equal to ca1 is equal to square root of v1 minus u1 
and putting all this value it is coming 23 meter per second impeller inlet design inlet blade angle at mean 10 theta 10 beta 1 is equal to u1 upon c1 so putting all this value beta 1 is coming 32 degree inlet blade angle at root so 10 beta 1 root is equal to u1 root upon ca1 so putting all these value beta 1 root is coming 29 degree inlet blade angle at tip 10 beta 1 tip is equal to u1 tip, tip upon ca1 so putting all this value it is coming 36 degree and inlet blade thickness putting all this value it is coming as 10 millimeter now outlet uh, impeller design impeller outlet velocity u2 is pi d2 n open 60 because d2 and all are non it is coming at 32 meter per second outlet relative velocity v2 is uh, considered half of inlet which is coming as uh, 14 meter per second because 27 is inlet velocity outlet world velocity cw2 is uh, hs upon es into u2 which is coming 20 meter per second outlet axial velocity is ea2 square root of v2 square minus v u2 minus cw2 bracket close square putting all these values ca2 is coming 80 meter per second outlet absolute velocity c2 is equal to square root of ca2 square plus cw2 square which is coming 22 meter per second now we have to find out outlet blade angle so select the suitable sleeve factor let's say 0.8 ideal whirl velocity cw2 dash which is coming 26 meter outlet inlet blade angle 10 theta 10 beta 2 which is coming u2 minus cw2 dash bracket close is ca2 which is coming as beta 2 is 37 degree so after putting 37 degree recalculate the sleeve factor which is coming 0.81 now start with 0.81 Recalculate ideal outlet whirl velocity now it is coming 25 meter per second and outlet blade angle which is coming 39 degree so again putting 39 degree sleeve factor is coming 0.81 so now this is 0.81 this is 0.81 which is same let me now have to stop because there is no variation in sleeve factor so these the blade angle is 39 sleeve factor is 0.81 and outlet whirl velocity is 25 meter per second so once this is known we can calculate outlet relative velocity without slip that is ideal v2 dash is equal to square root of ca2 plus u2 minus cw2 dash bracket code is like bracket close square which is coming at 10 meter per second and now outlet thickness of blade t2 is considered let's say equal to t1 so t2 will be 10 so gap between two or two blades perpendicular to ideal relative velocity beta b2 is equal to pi into d2 into cos beta 2 upon n minus t2 putting all this value b2 is coming 100 millimeter so outer blade width w d2 is equal to q2 into 10 to the power 6 upon n into b2 into v2 dash putting all this value w d2 is coming 30 millimeter so thank you hope you understood uh, how the design of impeller is done based on uh, calculated value of a speed and diameter and based on that with some assumption we have to calculate the various details sizing of impeller and angle so thank you thank you for watching